Jack was a wonderful man. Um, it's a horrible tragedy. I'm sickened by it. So is the whole community. Alan Weinberg is horrified by what happened to his friend Jack Mickelenser. The 99 year old was on his motorized scooter crossing Coleridge Street and Oriental Boulevard when he was struck by a BMW SUV. It was just before 5 Saturday evening, and Mickelenser was on his way to the Manhattan Beach Jewish Center. Was very devoted to the synagogue, was very devoted to going to prayer services every Sabbath. Mickelenser, who Weinberg says survived the Holocaust and was a resistance fighter, had his life taken away on a Brooklyn street. Let New York City lower the speed limit to the degree that we can make certain that the very young and the very old are not struck down and that these tragedies don't persist. State Senator Brad Hoyleman is sponsor of Sammy's Law, named after 12-year-old Samuel Cohen Eckstein, killed by a driver in 2013. Last week, it passed the Senate's Transportation Committee and continues to make its way through the legislative process. It would allow New York City to lower speed limits to 20 miles per hour citywide and as low as 5 miles per hour on some side streets, like those participating in the Open Streets program. Why? Is Albany in charge of speed limits in New York City? And it just doesn't make sense that New York City doesn't have home rule. Last year, there were 273 traffic related fatalities citywide, the highest number since 2013. I'd like people to follow the rules, to stop at a stop sign, and to be very careful because there are people that are not always aware of these speeding cars and definitely should be a little more uh, observant. Senator Hoylman says the data shows speed limits save lives. Statistics show that just one mile per hour decrease in a car speed can result in 17% decreases in fatal crashes.